Hello, you're watching Cruise First TV. We specialise in the sale of cruises from all the major cruise lines to all parts of the world. And today we're going to be showing you a selection of cruise offers from one of the world's leading cruise companies, Royal Caribbean International. Now, whether it's conquering rock climbing walls in the Med, ice skating in the Middle East or watching a West End style show in the Caribbean, you can do it all on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Royal Caribbean ships really are perfect for all ages and tastes and make an ideal holiday for the entire family from mum and dad, the kids and the grandparents. In fact, everyone is catered for. Now, included in this programme, we have a seven-night Spanish or Italian Mediterranean cruise with three-night stay, both for the same price, a seven-night cruise with a three-night stay Arabian Adventure cruise, and a ten-night Caribbean cruise and Orlando stay, perfect for visiting the theme parks. Well, our first itinerary sails on board Royal Caribbean's Grandeur of the Seas, part of their Vision class of ships. You'll find every day can be different, with eight bars and lounges, rock climbing, the casino, open-roofed solarium pool, Vegas-style shows and kids' club adventure ocean. This may be one of the smallest ships in the Royal Caribbean fleet, but that doesn't mean the Grandeur of the Seas has a small personality. In fact, as the name suggests, it's pretty grand. This is the atrium, the seven-deck high heart of the ship. There are plenty of places to kick back and relax, which is such an important part of a holiday. But if you want to keep active, then there are loads of classes to get involved with and a climbing wall on the back of the funnel. The kids are also well catered for in the Adventure Ocean Club and everyone can enjoy the numerous pools. For ultimate relaxation, head to the spa where a full range of treatments are on offer. Food is a major part of any cruise and on the Grandeur you can hit the buffet in the Windjammer Cafe or dine in the opulent Great Gatsby. There's a range of staterooms to choose from of varying sizes. So whether you're looking for a standard inside or a spacious suite, we'll find something to suit you. But one thing that makes any cruise holiday is a balcony where you can sit and watch the world go by. By night, the atrium lights up and comes to life with lively bars and live music. The Palladium Theatre is the ship's principal show lounge and lays on big productions, all glitz and jazz hands. The South Pacific Show Lounge is where you'll find the comedy and cabaret acts and the ever-entertaining karaoke. But if you want to splash the cash, then head to the casino with its table games and slots. It's a grand ship and we're sure you'll have a grand holiday on board her. Well, we're offering you the chance of doing either a Spanish or Italian Mediterranean cruise on board the Grandeur. All are for departure this month, October or summer of next year. So here's where you'll stop on the Spanish itinerary. You join your ship in Palma de Mallorca and depart that evening for Barcelona, arriving the next morning. You get a full day to explore before departing late that evening for Ibiza. You then get a full day at sea before arriving at Malaga, the gateway to the Costa del Sol. Gibraltar is your next port of call, followed by another day at sea before arriving back at Palma for your flight home. People from all around the world enjoy Barcelona for its individuality, cultural interest and physical beauty. The city is a major cultural centre with a fascinating history. Everywhere are archives, libraries, museums and buildings of interest, plus superb examples of modernist and art nouveau decor and architecture. Stroll along Las Ramblas, a wonderfully vibrant part of the city where street vendors and performers vie for your attention. Explore the many churches and cathedrals of Barcelona and discover the city's modernist architecture along Paseo de Gracia. Visit Gaudi's unfinished Sagrada Familia. With eight soaring spires and a spectacular main facade, this cathedral is a true architectural masterpiece, while football lovers must pay a visit to Barcelona FC Stadium. Fancy that? No? Well, here's the Italian med itinerary. You'll start your cruise in Palma de Mallorca and then spend a day at sea getting to know your ship. Your first ports of call will be Cannes for Monte Carlo, Livorno for Florence and Pisa, and Civitavecchia for Rome. It's then on to Palermo in Sicily. A final day is spent at sea before arriving back at Parma for your flight home. Highlights of this itinerary include Parma with its stunning cathedral and excellent shopping. Rome is the eternal city and longs to be explored, while Cannes and Monte Carlo are great for people watching. So do you like either of those? Well, here's the price for both. 
Well, this is phenomenal value. Look, 10 nights in total, extraordinary price there. That's per person based on two sharing an inside stateroom, departing on the date you can see. But you can take these cruise and stays September, October 2011 and summer 2012 as well. Reference RCI 128. Now, some extra bits of info. You get a three, three night stay in Mallorca. That's free. A free upgrade to outside stateroom on selected sailings on the Italian itinerary. Upgrade to a balcony stateroom from just £249 per person. Includes your return flights from London airports. And you can go from regional airports, though a supplement may apply for that. And you can add extra nights in Mallorca from just £29 per person per night. It is extraordinary. Extraordinary value, this one. Reference RCI128. This one will go very fast, so do get on the phone as soon as possible uh, if you fancy going on this cruise and stay. Now, as we mentioned earlier, Royal Caribbean is the perfect choice for families. Here's why. At Royal Caribbean International, we pride ourselves on providing foolproof family holidays, an environment where every family member can stretch their boundaries. Our holidays have something to satisfy everyone, enabling families to spend quality time together or apart. There are plenty of activities and attractions that everyone can enjoy as a group, such as our state-of-the-art sports decks, featuring our Flowrider surf simulators and climbing wall. Families can also enjoy theatre shows, ice shows, even parades, not to mention even more choices when they reach their destinations. In addition to all the great experiences you can enjoy together, a Royal Caribbean cruise also offers activities and programs to suit the unique interests of every member of your family. For our youngest guests, aged between 6 and 36, Six months old, our Royal Babies and Royal Tots programs offer interactive playgroup sessions developed by Fisher Price. Each 45 minute session offers age appropriate activities to expose children to new experiences, combining playtime and learning. For kids aged 3 to 11, our award winning Adventure Ocean Youth program and facilities provide an endless array of entertainment options suitable for younger guests, where they can learn about local customs, perform science experiments, and make new friends. Our Adventure Ocean program features fully trained staff members and a dedicated and secure space for children, as well as pages which summon parents to pick their kids up at the program's end. Royal Caribbean features teen activities for two age groups, 12 to 14 and 15 to 17. Activities include sports, themed parties, film nights and more. Teens can hang out in areas specially designed for them, including the living room lounge, fuel nightclub and the back deck music venue. We also know that even on a family holiday, mum and dad need the occasional night out alone. So go ahead and enjoy a romantic dinner or take in a comedy show, because babysitting is available in both group settings and one-to-one in your stateroom for a small charge. When the day is done, retiring to your stateroom means enjoying private accommodation with plush bedding and TVs. Plus, the option of family suites with adjoining doors provides the perfect combination of family togetherness and privacy, accommodating up to 14 people on site. Some ships. And just to let you know that Cruise First can offer you specially negotiated child prices, so do ask about those when you call to book. Now, our next cruise is on board the Adventure of the Seas, one of Royal Caribbean's Voyager class of ships. The Adventure of the Seas, the Explorer of the Seas, the Mariner of the Seas, the Navigator of the Seas, and the Voyager of the Seas. From bow to stern, our Voyager class of ships is packed with activities for guests of the nation of Why Not. Each of our amazing Voyager class vessels is home to the Royal Promenade, a unique experience that's at the center of each ship, featuring shopping, restaurants, and pubs. But step outside and prepare to be truly amazed with more things to do than you ever thought possible on a ship. Play basketball or volleyball on our full-size courts. Climb our rock wall 200 feet above the ocean. And why not ice skate on our onboard rink? Or if you feel like doing nothing at all, soak up the sun in our stunning adults-only glass solarium. Then head to our full-service day spa and let the pampering begin. With a holiday aboard our Voyager class of ships, you'll never be at a loss for a new onboard experience. And you're almost guaranteed to never hear the words, are we there yet, again. Well, that would be nice. The cruise we have on board the Adventure of the Seas is a Western Mediterranean itinerary that departs this month, October or next summer. So here's the itinerary. You start your cruise in Malaga and depart that evening arriving at Valencia the next morning. The next day is spent at sea before arriving at Civitavecchio for Rome. 
It's then on to Livorno for Florence and Pisa, followed by Ajaccio in Corsica. A further day at sea follows before arriving back at Malaga. Civita Vecchia is the gateway to all the magnificence of the ancient city of Rome. This city has a lifetime's worth of historical, architectural and spiritual sites. Be sure to visit the Forum where gladiators once fought and Vatican City, home to St. Peter's, Basilica and Square. For shopping, head to the area around the Piazza di Spagna. Here you'll find all the famous stores. Valencia is one of the most beautiful cities in Spain. It's considered the third most important city in this country and the second most important along the Spanish Mediterranean coast after Barcelona. It's a lively city which has a very long and rich history and it's grown rapidly along these last years. Nowadays, it's fast becoming an alternative to Barcelona and Madrid. Florence, so many lookers in such a good-looking city. Naked like Michelangelo's David or rugged up in the latest winter fashion by their own world-class designers. Florentines and their city never fail to impress. Already in need of oxygen after admiring their art, visitors are mesmerized by the vision of locals at aperitivo time, effortlessly strutting, flirting and evidently enjoying life. At times it seems nothing much has changed since the days of the Medici. Oh, some really lovely ports of call there. So what will it cost? So this is 10 nights in total. Uh, for the amazing price you can see there, that's per person based on two sharing an inside stateroom, departing on selected September and October 2011 dates, or summer 2012 as well. Um, now, the reference number for this one is RCI 228. You get a free three-night stay on the Costa del Sol as well. Upgrade to an outside stateroom from just £199 per person or to a balcony stateroom from £279 per person. Well worth doing. Includes return flights from London Airport you can go from regional airports, though a supplement will apply. And you can get extra nights on the Costa del Sol from just £29 per person per night. And there is no booking fee if you book through Cruise First. Cruises can be a wonderful way of exploring new and vibrant destinations. And one such part of the world that's fairly new to cruising is the Arabian Gulf. Now, Royal Caribbean offers seasonal cruises to this part of the world between November and March. Welcome to the nation's newest destinations, Dubai and the Arabian Gulf, where you'll find enough natural beauty, ancient history and modern architectural wonders to capture the imagination of any traveller. With a Royal Caribbean cruise, you'll experience the holiday of a lifetime. Explore the ancient mountainous beauty of Fujairah, the spectacular desert oasis that is Abu Dhabi, and the technological splendor of Dubai. Here you can finally answer the biggest why not question of them all. Why not go snow skiing in the desert? When you cruise from Dubai the Royal Caribbean way, the United Arab Emirates is just the beginning. You'll also set sail to Muscat Oman, one of the Middle East's oldest cities. And for a thoroughly modern adventure, Take in the sights of Bahrain, one of the most culturally diverse places in the world. With a Royal Caribbean shore excursion, you can explore these ancient lands in even more depth with desert mountain safaris, camel tours, beach excursions and snorkeling. Enhance your Arabian adventure further with one of our cruise tour land packages before your cruise. Cruise tours combine land and cruise experiences and feature knowledgeable tour directors and overnight stays, as well as city and desert tours enhanced with dune buggy and four-wheel drive adventures. Whether you're most interested in the ancient world, cutting-edge architecture, the beauty of nature, or a little of each, Royal Caribbean's Arabian Gulf cruise and shore excursions offer enough excitement and wonder for anyone in one of the fastest growing but still undiscovered travel destinations in the world. There's no better way to explore these mysterious magical lands than from the comfort of a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Well, the ship Royal Caribbean uses in the Gulf is the brilliance of the seas, which is part of their Radiance class of ships. So here's what you can expect on board. Where else can you watch dolphins while travelling in a lift? At Royal Caribbean, we built the Radiance class to let the sights of the sea be the star. Whether you sail on board the brilliance of the seas, the jewel of the seas, the radiance of the seas, or the serenade of the seas, each has soaring wide open spaces and more balconies and glass than you could ever imagine. And each of the ships in the Radiance class has a uniquely themed adults only solarium with indoor pool and lush tropical foliage. But while you may be content to watch the scenery go by, there's plenty to do when you turn your attention inward. 
the whole family can play a round or two of mini golf. Or try your hand at pool on the only self-leveling billiard tables at sea. What if a pool table could level itself? On our Radiance class of ships, there are some questions you'll never have to ask again. The cruise we have to this part of the world is called the Arabian Adventure, and here's where you'll stop. After your flight to Dubai, you go straight to your ship. You depart port that evening, arriving the next morning at Fujairah in the United Arab Emirates. Further stops include Muscat in Oman, Abu Dhabi, and then it's back to Dubai. Believe everything you've heard about Dubai. It truly is that incredible. Honestly, where else on earth can you ski both in a shopping center and out in the desert? As one of the world's fastest growing cities, Dubai has emerged as a premier luxury destination, drawing visitors from all over the globe. Its dry and sunny weather, incredible shopping experiences and unique tourist attractions have helped to turn it into a bona fide hotspot where ancient and modern cultures come together. As one of the Middle East's oldest cities dating back to the second century AD, it's hard to believe that Muscat has been open to tourists for only a few decades. But seeing is believing. From the beautifully manicured parks and long, unspoiled stretches of beach to the stone moat that still surrounds the area, it's clear that Oman's monarchy has worked hard to protect the rich history and small, safe neighborhood feel of its capital city. The largest of the seven emirates by area, Abu Dhabi, accounts for over 80% of the total land area of the United Arab Emirates. This emirate combines tranquil beaches and desert oases with some of the most vibrant city life in all the UAE. It's hard to believe Abu Dhabi was just a quiet fishing and pearling village for centuries, but the discovery of oil has recently transformed this capital city into one of the wealthiest and safest tourist destinations in the world. Really spectacular itinerary there that visits some incredible ports of call. So here's the price. Now, in total, this is 10 nights from the price you can see on screen. That's per person based on two sharing an inside stateroom, another unbeatable price. Uh, this is on the brilliance of the seas, and you can take this cruise between November this year and March 2012, though this price is based on departing on the date you can see on screen, selected December dates. You get a free three-night stay in Dubai, lots of time to explore that extraordinary city. Up to $100 onboard credit per stateroom, a free upgrade to an outside stateroom on selected sailings, and an upgrade to a balcony stateroom from just £179 per person. That really is well worth doing. Return flights from London airports are included. If you need to go from a regional airport, you can do, but a supplement will apply. The reference number for this one, RCI 328. Do remember that all our prices are based on interior staterooms. However, we do have specially negotiated rates on a wide variety of accommodation from staterooms with windows, balcony staterooms, junior suites and suites. Upgrading to a balcony or a suite really can make a massive difference to your cruise experience and in many cases really is worth paying a little bit extra for. So make sure you ask us about these rates when you call us. Now, our final deal is an Orlando stay with a Caribbean cruise, always popular, that gives you three nights in Orlando for the theme parks before cruising the Caribbean for a week. Here's where you'll stop. Leaving from Port Canaveral in Florida, this cruise heads for the Caribbean, stopping at Haiti on the way for a visit to Labadee, Royal Caribbean International's private resort. It's then on to Jamaica with a stop in Falmouth before hitting the Cayman Islands for a visit to Georgetown on Grand Cayman. The beautiful Mexican island of Cozumel is next, before you return to Port Canaveral in Florida. On the north coast of Hispaniola, surrounded by beautiful mountains and exotic foliage, sits Labadee, Royal Caribbean's private paradise. This exclusive destination offers pristine beaches, breathtaking scenery and spectacular water activities. There's even a new aqua park for children. Grand Cayman is one of a group of three magnificent tropical islands, and you can learn here about the creature that gave these islands their name, Las Tortugas, the turtles. There's also the magnificent Seven Mile Beach, where you can either lay back and soak up the sun, or explore the colorful underwater world on a diving trip. When in Jamaica, head over to Ocho Rios, which is home to some beautiful white sand beaches and unbelievable landscapes. Here you'll discover one of Jamaica's most famous waterfalls, Dunn's River Falls, where the mountain waters plunge 183 meters to the turquoise Caribbean Sea. Whether you climb the falls or swim in the chilly eddies on the ocean side, you'll certainly remember this place. Great one for the whole family there, so what will it cost? 
So 10 nights in total, three nights to do the theme parks in Orlando. For this amazing price, that's per person based on two sharing an inside stateroom, departing on the date you can see there. Though you can take this cruise between September this year and April 2013. Plenty of time, but not necessarily at that price. Reference RCI 028. Remember, a free three night stay in Orlando. Upgrade to an outside stateroom from £79 per person or to a balcony stateroom from £229 per person. You can add extra nights in Orlando if you fancy it from just £29 per person per night. And car hire there is available from just £29 per day. And remember that when you book with us, there is no booking fee. So give us a ring here at Cruise First. Talk to our brilliant cruise consultants. They can answer all your questions. RCI 028. Well, that's it for this programme. To book any of the offers we've shown, you simply pick up the phone and give us a call on the local rate number on the bottom left of your screen. You can then speak to one of our specially trained cruise consultants in our UK call centre who'll be only too happy to answer any of your questions. Alternatively, log on to cruisefirst.tv for all of the offers we've got in this programme from all of the cruise lines we work with. And don't forget, we are fully bonded members of Atoll and ABTA, so your money is safe in our hands. Watch out for more cruise offers here on Sky Channel 251 and 252 throughout the day. But bye for now.